We are at 822 Seven Oaks Drive, the Jarnigan residence. We have a two story gable style roof, a 20 year composition shingle. The predominant pitch is a 1012. We have five inch gutters, no gutter guards, no drip edge. We do have felt. We have standard aluminum ridge vent and we have closed valleys. This is the front slope of the home, being the south side. We have the rear slope of the home, being the north side. We have the left slope of the home being the west side and the right slope of the home being the east side. There was no collateral on the ground level and the only collateral we have on the roof is on the ridge vents. The biggest size being a half an inch. We have four missing shingles down on this left side. A lot of these nails are in the nail line. However, lifting up some more shingles I'm finding a lot of high nails here as well. The major problem with this roof is this aluminum ridge vent. All of the nails have pulled out on one side to where this now lifts up completely and you can see straight down past the decking. This would have to be the cause of the interior leak that the insured is experiencing. We do have a rip here in the composition shingle over the ridge. <coughs> this ridge vent here there's a lot of nails already popping out and that extends all the way down through. Here's our collateral. As you can see, the biggest one in size is under a half an inch. We do have some mechanical damages on the back and it looks like a prior repair as there are multiple shingles shoved underneath the top shingle. You can see there's also a third layer down there. Again, we're at the Jarnigan residence. There are no storm related damages to this roof other than the four potentially wind damaged shingles that are missing on the left slope. And that is everything that is on this roof.